Tech.com. This episode, um, as you may have seen in a prior episode, we printed one of these 3D calibration cubes on the one house. So I've gone ahead now on the DaVinci 10A and, and printed one here too. Take, take a look and see how it turns out in, compar in comparison to the one house. Uh, also, one of the things I've done is Chuck Hellebuck um, kind of mentioned and kind of questioned uh, the two different versions. There are a couple different revisions of the XYZWare slicer out there. So I've actually printed two of these, um, one with the old slicer, one with the new, and we'll compare them. So um, let's take a watch at the time lapse of this printing because it, it, it might be pretty interesting and it's kind of interesting to see how it kind of comes together to, you know, especially in creation of these vertical circles and, and that kind of stuff. And then uh, we're going to hop over to the bench and we're going to take a look and measure this up like we did with the Wan Hao. And we're also going to compare the two between the old slicer and the new slicer and, and see how each fares. So let's head over to the bench. Welcome back. So, uh, actually, on the I've just uh, as you saw in the intro. So, um, I've done one of these for the Wan Hao, uh, and so I decided for the Da Vinci 10A to do one. And uh, I got to tell you, they're not as pretty as the Wan Hao's. However, let's see how this stacks up. Now, I did print two of them. And this is one, and this is two. So, check Hellebuck. Um, it had some questions back a while ago when I was doing the rockets, you know, because there's a couple different versions of the XYZ slicer. So there's one version, and, and if I think about it, I'll put the numbers in the video as overlays uh, for the uh, XP version. And then there's one for the Windows 7 and newer version. And so this one is done with the XP version. This one is done with the Windows 7 or the newer version. And they clearly have different UIs, and uh, they definitely slice differently. So he had questioned, you know, do you see a difference? And uh, I, I think actually a little bit. I think the, the newer one is a little bit cleaner print, not hugely cleaner. But, um, you know, I think one of the big areas, maybe if you look at this piece, um, this is the old one, this is the new one. It, it's, it's quite a bit cleaner the new one's quite a bit cleaner than that, but still not nowhere is is good. So if I bring in the Wan House with PLA, and I think part of it's the ABS and the crappy um, ABS that XYZ wear sells. I, I got to tell you that, yeah, the the ABS from them guys, uh, not very good. Anyways, um, so let's check this one out. And this one is clearly well. I shouldn't. I should jump. Uh, this one maybe is about a quarter to a half a millimeter over on the Y, and then let's see. It's hard to see the mark on the X here. The X is. Looks like it's off by about the same, maybe a quarter to a half a millimeter. And and part of that might be because the size is the same or the contraction of the the uh, ABS. And now this top, again, it looks like it's about the same under, maybe a little bit more. It might even be uh, closer to uh, one millimeter off on the Z. So, and this is the 2.0 version, so we'll compare the, the two. So, 8.8, .8, so I got more more contraction over, over the PLA. The PLA was 9.4, so about half a millimeter more contraction. Now, um, going all the way down to the 1, it did sort of do the 1. The 1, 2, like with the one how is better on the Z than it is on the XY. Uh, it did form the holes fairly nicely 
on the uh, Z. There's some, as Chuck would call it, nerding on the back. Oh, uh, but not bad. Not bad. Um, you know, and, and the white is typically the worst PLA. I don't know what they put in it. However, it almost like kind of burns. Uh, really wish you could adjust the temperature on those. This one's going to be a little bit harder to measure. Um, however, this one looks a little bit more true, to be honest. So far, at the first glance, that looked almost spot on, and so does this look almost spot on. So there might be a little bit difference in that that new slicer because this one is like a quarter quarter of a millimeter off roughly because this is a steel machinist square and it's um, not a terrible one either and this one seems to be on the Z though it does seem to be under a full full one millimeter on the Z to the Z height so so interesting. So there does seem to be a little bit of difference. I think it's a uh, better quality. However, there does seem to be a little bit more size difference in this. However, again, since it, it's unclear really what this one is being heated to and this one being heated to both bed and filament, it's, it's hard to really compare them. Quality-wise, I think the newer one clearly came out better. You can, I don't, I'm not sure on the camera if you can see this, you can clearly read the words and the numbering here. Here, the words are almost are illegible, and you can just barely make out the tick marks on the older version. So, newer version, clearly better of XYZ wear versus the older version. So, if you haven't upgraded, you're probably missing something by not going to the newer version. Now, what I typically do is I have an older, um, actually, uh, what, what did they call them, netbooks. And it runs XP. And I, I run XYZ wear on it. But also what I do is I have a bigger server in my office that I do the slicing and a lot of my design work on. And what I'll do is I run XYZ wear from that. I slice it, then export it to a file, and then I re-import it into the, um, uh, the, the netbook. And I just use the netbook connected to the printer to send it to the printer. And it works pretty good. So, you know, I can do either or, but most of the time, you know, I'll slice it on the newer version, make it a, what is it, a 3W file, uh, load it to my network drive, and then just pull it off the network drive and uh, print it out. So, you know, even if you're doing something like that, you can still kind of cheat and get away with doing the newer version. So, uh, anyways, hopefully you found this video interesting. Uh, again, I'll put the links for this down below. Uh, look for one coming on the Fabricator Mini. I wasn't going to do the Fabricator Mini, but I found this so interesting. And the Fabricator Mini is so cute. Eh, what the heck, I had to do one on it. So anyways, give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.